So we're going to start off the year by making mind maps. Um, I've got some examples for you here. I'm literally pointing my, my iPhone at my computer screen uh, because I just really want to get give you a sense of what they can look like. Um, there's always a central theme and then um, you think of like branching off with different like different chapters or different concepts from the central theme. So here's one that the main idea is force. And then you can see they're branching off and talking about forces of nature. Um, over here they've got people that, are, that may have a force, um, objects that contain a force. Um, here is a uh, mind map about mind mapping, right? And you can see that people have different styles. Um, some, some just use words and, and, and put in little pictures. There's a totally different style. Um, so here's this, uh, this notion is about identity. Um, everything from dreams um, to appearance, um, you know, your background, your art, and awakening. Uh, peace, uncertainty, confusion. Over here we have liberation, release, something from nothing impersonal judgment. So there's all different types of awakening, silence, observation, freedom. So um, why are we doing this? Uh, I want you to be able to um, have a resource to go to, um, particularly when we get into our first conceptual project. Um, and so rather than have you sort of feel lost, I think that um, with this first hybrid week, this is a good thing to be doing when you're not in the in the classroom and in the studio where you have access to clay. So it's only two meetings. Uh, you're either uh, watching this uh, in the first half of the cycle uh, because you're at home or you're watching it after you've been in the, in the building and you've started working with clay and now you're at home for a couple of days uh, during this hybrid week. So what you do in, in my class in the building this week is different than what you'll be doing at home. I'm going to use the central theme of home. Uh, and we'll talk more about what theme you'll use in a minute, but I'm going to, I'm going to use the word home. And I think for fun, I will represent, I'll put like a little house here. chimney, roof line. Uh, let's put a little extension on this house so that we can get the whole word in there. All right, put a couple of windows. And I'm going to put a little grass thing in front of it. Okay, home. Uh, okay, so what could that be? Well, let's go out this way and we could think about the interior the interiors of the home. I'm going to put a box around that. And let's obviously, let's go to exteriors, the inside and the outside of the house or a home. I'm also going to do, uh, I think I'm going to move down here um, to the idea of memories of my home or homes. I'm a lot older than you, so I've lived in a number of homes. And what could my other theme? I'd like to have four themes. I think I'm going to make this one, um, I'm gonna make this aspects of home and you'll see what that means in a minute. Uh, so actually let's, let's, let's go right through here. Let's say uh, aspects of home could be um, furniture. It could be windows, doors, let's jump to interiors. Uh, I think of privacy and I also think of safety, the inside of my home.
So I have filled in a pretty good amount here on my um, mind map about home. Um, and um, you can see that I have uh, a whole bunch of things about interiors, um, maintenance and renovation. And I, I, think of my, I think to myself, what, what would it be like to use house as a sculpture, right? Because I'm, I'm brainstorming to make art ideas. Um, this whole notion of personal spaces, of seclusion, uh, down here with different aspects, I've got types of, um, of houses that I am drawn to, Victorians and Cape Cods. Um, my sister had a farmhouse for a long time. Uh, my home was our COVID bubble during the last six months or so. Um, I love this idea of warm, inviting windows. So I, I, I'm just brainstorming all these different ideas. And then I, I chose this topic for this lecture because... Uh, I have, it's been clear to me for quite some time that this is where most of my ideas come from. And I can show you um, by looking at, again, I'm just going to quickly show you on my laptop some examples of my work. This is the, the farm. Uh, I'm a ceramic artist, and more recently I've been really focusing on painting. So this is a painting of my sister's farmhouse. And uh, let's click along here. This is um, my house, my current house, and this is um, at dawn. And that was one of the ideas on my mind map, was to capture my home at dawn. And I used completely complementary colors. You'll learn more about elements and principles of design. But I, I just stuck with purples and yellows for a dramatic look. My house is yellow. Here we have a ceramic piece. And um, on my mind map, I have clotheslines. I have the address of this house where I grew up. I wrote stairs. This is, this is leading down to our basement. Uh, I had lighthouse because I lived in a house that overlooked the water and you could see the lighthouse. So I've taken a bunch of aspects here and made sort of a surreal um, image. This is not a tornado, it's water. It represents the sump pump in the basement of my childhood home, which really frightened me. So um, it's, a, it's a memory. That was, memories were also on my, on my mind map. Here's a painting um, in my bedroom. I'm standing in front of a mirror. It's called Shaker Rocker. This rocking chair was given to me by my mother when I had my eldest child um, so that I could rock him. And so it has, there's meaning here for me. Uh, let's go to this one. This is an image of my current living room with my little dog sitting on, um, this is where he spends a lot of time. And I wanted to capture that, but I also wanted doors and windows and cool light versus warm light from the, um, from the lamp. And then I have a few things here. So there's an exterior of my home, a painting, um, and this is the interior. These are spaces that I like to rest and relax, and I love reading. So um, here I, here's my safe, happy place to read in the summer, and there's my warm, cozy place to read in the winter, and there's a teacup. I actually listed tea as one of the elements of my home. This is a sculpture I did of my husband's grandmother, um, and notice I have wallpaper. Wallpaper was one of the things on my mind map. There's a doorway, right? Furniture, um, a little piece of a house. And here's an exterior. Remember I wrote interiors and exteriors. And here's a ceramic sculpture of looking at the exterior of a home, but looking in to a bedroom. Um, and there's a little garment um, on, the, on the bed. This is all made of clay. Um, mostly uh, earthenware, although this little pattern dress I made out of polymer clay. So my mind map has been a treasure trove of ideas for coming up with um, works of art, whether they be sculptural or painting or drawing. Um, the mind map with the theme of home has been um, very lucrative for me, very enriching for me as I strive to get ideas about what to make. Um, so um, you are uh, just starting out in the course. And so because of the, um, again, because of the hybrid situation where I have some of you at home and some of you in the studio with supplies, uh, I thought it best to begin with the mind map if you are at home in this first cycle. So you're gonna pick a, a concept and work on that. 
uh, a central theme. Uh, and if you need help getting that theme, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I can, I can help you. But think about something that's important to you. And it can also be um, something as simple as the word water. And then think of all the directions you could go with when thinking about water. Um, uh, it, you know, it's ice, uh, it's streams, it's oceans, it it's, um, it's, makes up our, most of our body, right? So you can, you can find a general theme. You could pick travel if you love to travel. And then you could have branches that lead out in all directions about travel and places you've been and food that you've eaten and things you've seen, right? So um, take, a, take a bit to find that central theme and then um, go from there. All right, and have fun doing it. It's going to pay off. You're gonna be so glad you own this further down in the course when you've got a lot of techniques under your belt and you're beginning to make things. Um, you're gonna to wanna to have, you're gonna to wanna to make things that, that mean something to you. The work is far more meaningful to you. The process is more exciting um, than to have me always telling you what to make. And what I'd like to do for you in my ceramics class, all of you, um, is to ask you to use the central theme of nature. Write the word nature. You can try to think of a visual icon for it here if you'd like, but write the word nature. And then I want you to brainstorm in many directions about nature and what occurs to you. Um, this is going to um, serve you later in the class when I give you our first conceptual assignment. That means a work of art that has a concept behind it. Um, that's coming down the road a bit after you learn all the techniques, um, but this is a great time to start brainstorming. What do you think of when you think of nature? Okay, work on that while you're at home, and um, I'll take a look at the end of the cycle.